Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics. Now our topic for today is quadratic expressions and equations. So for today we are going to look at how we expand uh, expressions uh, so that we can form equations. So for, for today our main focus is going to be whole numbers and then in proceeding lessons you are going to see uh, different types of numbers. So a quadratic expression is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. And remember, a is not equal to 0. So let's expand this expression. And then the steps that we are going to use to expand this expression is one that we are going to use to expand the rest of the expressions. And pay close attention uh, because there are different ways you can do this and you're going to do those in two ways. So the first thing that you do, the first, the first method that you can use is to use the first expression to multiply the second expression. What do I mean by that? Let's repeat this. This is m plus 2n into bracket m minus n. So we are going to use the first expression to multiply the second. So we have m into bracket n minus n. And then since there is a positive here, we are going to put the same positive. And then 2n, m minus n. So you've noticed what I've done. I've just used the first expression. So the first value m comes here, the second expression in a bracket. And then the positive, I've carried it as it is and I've brought it here. And then the 2n, this is the 2n, and then the second expression. The second expression, you've noticed I put it in the bracket. So let's open. So m times m. Is going to give us m squared and then m times minus n the minus is going to remain but it's going to form mn and then that we are done with the first part of the expression the second part we have a positive unless this value had a negative our positive is going to remain as it is so 2n times m is going to be 2n m and then the last one, this is a 2n times negative n. So the negative comes in because plus minus is minus. Then 2n, we, the 2 remains. And then since there are two n's, it becomes n squared. Notice how we have done that. So let's uh, put the light terms together. So we have m squared minus mn plus 2mn. Remember, this is mn. It's, we can write it like this so that it can make your work a bit easier. Like that. So it is minus 1 plus 2nm. So it's like minus 1 plus 2. So this gives us m squared plus minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1. So plus mn minus 2n squared. So that is one of the ways you can open that expression. Another way is basically to do it manually. So m plus 2n, let's repeat the expression, m minus n. So you can use arrows. So m is going to multiply with this m to give us m squared. And then the same m is going to multiply the minus n to get minus mn. Notice how you've done it. And then Positive 2n is going to multiply m to form positive 2m. And then this positive 2n still is going to multiply negative n to form negative 2n squared. Again, you put your light terms together. So it's m squared minus mn plus 2mn is going to give us plus mn. Then minus 2n squared, which you notice are the same. So either the method that you're going to use, you're still going to get the same answer. The only difference is that this we have to show, we open our brackets by showing, but this one we use arrows. Let's do a few examples. Now you notice we are working with whole numbers in our topic for today. So you can see this all are whole numbers. There is no fraction, there is no decimal. So let's open this in the formula that we have talked about. So we are going to use this expression to open up this expression. You use the two methods that you can see. So this is going to be x into bracket. The second expression is 3x plus 2. And then we have positive plus 5. 
second expression is 3x plus 2. So we open that x times 3x is going to be 3x squared plus x times 2 is going to give us 2x. Then plus 5 times 3x is going to give us plus 15x. Then 5 times 2 is going to give us positive 10. And then after that, we put the light terms together. So 3x squared plus 2x plus 15x gives us plus 17x. So plus 17x plus 10. And that is our expression. Let's use the arrows so that also you can see it in practical. So x plus 5 and 3x plus 2. So x times 3x will give us 3x squared. Then x times 2 will give us 2x. Then plus 5 times 3x will give us plus 15x. And then 5 times 2 will give us positive 10. So like terms together is 3x squared plus 17x plus 10, which is the same as what we got here. Let's do a few more practice. Now uh, we can use one method. You can try with the other method. So we have these examples. Let's work them out one by one. At some point, we may have to, to do a few uh, on your own. So you notice our values, we have some negative sub 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 subtraction. In the examples that we have given first, we had only addition. So let's try a one that with subtraction. I'll try number C which is x minus 1, x plus 2. So I'm going to use the first method. So we start with x into bracket x plus 2, and then I'll take minus 1 into bracket x plus 2. So this is going to be x times x gives us x squared, plus x times 2, which gives us 2x, minus 1 times x gives us minus x. Be very careful. Minus 1 times 2 will give us minus 2. So this is going to be x squared plus plus 2 minus 1, which is x. It is 2 minus 1, basically, which is 1. And then minus 2. All right, let's do question E as well. So 6x minus 2 times 2x plus 8. So we open with this first one. So 6x into bracket 2x plus 8 and then minus 2 into bracket 2x plus 8. So 6x times 2x gives us 12x squared. 6x times 8, it gives us 42x. 48, not 42. And then uh, minus 2 times 2x is 4x, minus 4x. Be very careful with the minus. And then minus 2 times 8 is going to be minus 16. We put the light terms together, which is 12x squared. 48x minus 4x gives us plus 44x, then minus 16. So, uh, you can do one more question. Um, hmm. Let's work out the first one, which had 6x plus 2, 4x plus 3. So we open using this. So 6x into bracket 4x plus 3, then plus 2 into bracket 4x plus 3. So 6x times 4x gives us 24x squared. Then 6x times 3 will give us 18x. Then plus 2x, 2 times 4x gives us 8x. And then 2 times 3 will give us 6. So we put the light terms together. So 24x squared, 18x plus 8x will give us 26. So 26x plus 6, and that's our answer. So I've done A, C, and E. You can do the rest on your own. Do it slowly by slowly, and then you'll be able to understand. So that brings us to the end of opening or ex um, 
expanding expressions uh, that you have been given with whole numbers. So you can get more revision questions and notes on the theme in the app. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.